Flames whipped by strong winds raced through forests near Fort St. John Tuesday, towering columns of acrid black smoke so close that people are on edge. Thousands of people have been ordered from their homes. 20,000 more are on evacuation alert, ready to leave at a moment's notice. The ones I've got in here right now, their families, the women brought their kids and the trailers out. Husbands are still home trying to watch their livestock and their farms and that. Tuesday, a bit of a break. The winds forecast to push the fire towards Fort St. John, push the Stoddard Creek fire away from the population center. Crews taking a day to reevaluate the risk. This aggressive fire still considered out of control. We're still seeing unseasonably hot and dry conditions, and we are still seeing fire behavior that is very aggressive. More than 60 fires are burning across BC right now. The fires of note primarily in the northeast, where 50,000 hectares of land have been scorched, five times more than a typical year. The Stoddart Creek and Red Creek fires are out of control and highly visible. North of that, the Donny Creek fire, also out of control. Officials say this early and significant start to the fire season in the north will likely intensify and spread south. The risk great enough that a province-wide open burning ban will be imposed Thursday and a campfire ban will be applied to the Prince George fire region. It's important for everyone to know that the fuel conditions being what they are and the weather being what it is, it is going to be challenging suppression efforts across the province for us. Shifting winds will also have a negative impact on air quality across the province. Already bad in parts of central BC, the forecast is calling for smoky skies in Metro Vancouver by Wednesday. Temperatures expected to return to seasonal next week, but without rain, the risk of fire for the remainder of the summer remains higher than typical. June is the key month. If, uh, if rain comes in, uh, in June, then that will impact what the fire season in July, August and, and September is like. The unprecedented heat wave forcing wildfire crews to think longer term about the risk. Parts of B.C. already well into core fire season. Aaron MacArthur, Global News.